All right, I uh, started this project last night, um, but this project has kind of been in production for a while. Um, it all started with I wanted to try this Newcastle Brown Ale um, because I really like um, Brooklyn uh, Brewery's Brown Ale, and I wanted to see if this was anything like it, and it was not. Um, but anyway, so I had this metal can, and I wanted to do something with it, and I was thinking. Well, I could just recycle this sucker, but what could I do with a keg? And I decided to make a rocket stove. So, I tried to show, I was trying to take some video of me trying to work on these things last night. I did four of them. Um, there's the other three. But, uh, it really was hard to do any kind of productive work and have the camcorder in my hand at once. And since I don't have a cameraman to assist, uh, this is kind of what we have. You're going to kind of look at some of the aftermath, and I'm going to show you what I plan to do, and then I'm going to go do it and show you the final product, and that'll just have to be my demonstration of this particular uh, uh, item uh, this time. Maybe I'll do another one sometime and try to get someone to help me uh, film it from start to finish. Um, and I'll do a little fast forward, because obviously it'd be a, a long video. But um, essentially what I did was I started with this uh, cheap chisel, and uh, with a hammer, I chiseled the top um, out of the mini keg. Um, I then, on a piece of wood, um, would chisel um, the circular pattern in the top of the lid throughout the center. Uh, I'm going to turn this upside down, and that's going to be the top of my rocket stove. That's going to fit in there. Um, I took some large soup cans, you know, this size. This is a you know, your regular size uh, soup can. I think this is, um, is it a 16 ounce? And this is like a... 24 or 32 or something like that. I'll get the exact numbers on that. But essentially, this is the large soup can, and this is going to go in like this and uh, fit inside the keg. It actually needs to be banged in to fit a little tight, but I could hammer that in. And then um, once that's in, so that this uh, top hole is inside the keg, what will happen is I will put my soup can stove pipe on top of that. So this little uh, assembly here will be inside the mini keg. Um, when this is complete, I will then, or when I have this assembly complete, I will fill in the gaps um, of these cans with a mixture of clay and perlite, which I have upstairs and I've already mixed um, together. And I'm going to start packing these and it'll be, let me see if I can get this, get this in while holding the camcorder and not cut myself on all the very sharp, jagged metal here. Well, we're going to end up something where I'm going to try to have to shorten this can so that it basically is right at the, you know, at the level of this uh, sharp, jagged rim there. And then I will have to cut some air spaces in here somehow so that to uh, let, let some of the uh, gases get out. But then essentially what we can do is, just like in my rocket stove video, put uh, fuel here with a small gap or, you know, some kind of, you know, lid that can go there to... Uh, be in between the fuel and air mixture. Um, this will be the combustion chamber, the smoke will come out the chimney, and we will have our genu own genuine rocket stove out of soup cans and um, a mini keg. And this is, you know, been a fairly interesting project. And again, it took, uh, uh, I did use some tin snips on this project uh, to cut certain areas after I'd already made the hole with the chisel. The chisel did get banged up. The edge is rather rough now. I have to grind this thing down to make it really usable for really precise jobs again. But it was a real cheap chisel, maybe a buck or two or something somewhere. And um, so I don't really care about banging it up. And, you know, some pliers and stuff for bending the metal various places. And, of course, some uh, can openers for getting both ends of the can off So uh, to make the pipe. So... I'm going to start completing this project and I'll show you the final project, or the final uh, outcome.